His graduation rate is above the national average. It's risen 7% in just three years. And now Clay County is the first in Florida to go wall to wall with academies. That means students at every grade level in high school will pick a theme that guides their education. Action News Jenna Bourne breaks down the impact and why administrators say it's not about pigeonholing students. <laughs> Clay County teachers and administrators have been doing training sessions like this all summer. They want to make sure everyone is on the same page as they get ready to expand their academy program. If I didn't have the academies in my life, I wouldn't be where I am today. CJ Cook just graduated from the Digital Media Academy at Fleming Island High a few months ago, and he's already got a great gig. I do game day operations, and I'm the MC for the Jacksonville Sharks. That's the whole idea behind going wall to wall with Clay County Academies like this one, the Aerospace Academy at Oakleaf High. We just started last year with ninth grade, and this year uh, we've incorporated the ninth and the tenth grade. So we're, we're stepping year by year until the entire school is incorporated. Teachers collaborate to coordinate their lesson plans using the academy's theme to connect the dots between classes. Schools also partner with businesses for internships and job shadows. Education has changed. Middleburg High principal Rob Feltner tells me it's not about forcing students to choose a career at age 14. It may not end up being their career, but it's a starting point that they can either say, I like this, or maybe, you know what, I want to try something different. Well, now we've given every student an opportunity to choose that. And the impact goes outside of the classroom. The principal here is actually hoping more people move to Clay County so their students can attend these academies. Reporting in Clay County, Jenna Bourne, Fox 30 Action News Jax.